I'm uh, cutting it on and off. about using the secondary winding of the microwave oven transformer okay I'm gonna cut it on and cut it all the way up I see we're running it'll probably go down between uh, an amp and a half to 1.15 decent production what I'm going to do is I'm going to ground the secondary just so y'all can see the, the production and hear the difference alright so that was just grounding it off I was having a hard time trying to figure out how to store this power. I tried taking the secondary and just putting it straight into the cap and that didn't work because on the off pulses, you know, it was just the energy that was I had stored up in the cap. When the off pulse was off, it was grounding straight back into the microwave oven transformer. So I found if you put a little spark in between it that you can store the voltage. So I wanted to show y'all. I'm going to cut it off for a minute. You can clearly see the, the spark right there. Alright, I guess that stored enough energy I'm gonna short it out There we go. Alright. Thing is, if I go straight to the cap like I got it now and I cut it on, it don't store nothing because it goes straight back to the cap or straight back to the transformer on the off pulse. But if I use this little spark gap, it stores because on the off pulse there's an air gap and nothing can get through okay so the next step that I'm wanting to do is take the energy that's stored and put it back into the system And uh, it's only a, <clears throat> a uh, instant reaction because I think that putting the energy from the crap straight to the cell, it needs like another spark somewhere so it'll be another open circuit. Putting the energy straight from the cap to the cell, that would be like making a closed circuit, you know. It would only charge up one time and then, you know, it would be like a, in a loop. We don't want a loop, we want it to be open. But here's the here's the outcome. Oh, 
I'm uh, cutting it on and off. See, I'm wanting that last one. I'm wanting that to act like that the whole time. So what I'm thinking is we need another, another spark gap to make it another open circuit. So it won't just be sucking the juice or you know trying to. Tr well, I think what it's trying to do is charge the cap from the DC and from the uh, high voltage out of the secondary. We don't want that. We want them to be independent from each other. Alright, so if y'all would, just let me know how y'all feel or if you know any anything else to add, just...